What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Great to see all your smiling faces again. Today we take care of those ugly license plate holes that have been bothering me for so long now. So overdue, let's do it. So I have been looking for a while, you know, if you guys have been following this channel, you would know that I highly dislike the front bumper, partly because of the holes in the license plate for those just, those holes are just so ugly. I just still to this day mind blown why someone would want to drill holes into the bumper for the license plate when you have the toe hook and can mount a license plate bracket is what it is. Kind of funny, I remember at Keys Motorsports, the auto show, when Mike and I were talking, my good friend with Mikey, and he was like, he got his car, he was telling me how he requested literally to not have them drill into the front bumper, and when he picked up the car, they drilled into the front bumper, and I was like, oh man, like, I feel you, it's just, the license plate's ugly, yeah, it's required in New Jersey, no one's ever said anything to me, so see you later to the license plate. It is what it is, it's ugly, but for a while, if you've been following this channel, you would know that I was looking into potentially a new bumper, maybe one day, but for now, I've been looking for some time now, and I finally found a solution, so I'll link the link to a website that I found some bumper plugs, and for the past couple weeks, I was considering it, but then all of a sudden, I realized a couple weeks later, and I still hadn't made the purchase, and I was just having trouble because... $30 is a lot of money for two little plugs, and I just really wasn't feeling it. I mean, obviously, to have it paint mesh is really what you're paying for, but I figured, well, if I'm going to spend $30, might as well just buy, you know, color match paint. So, ECS tuning has paint matching, you know, paint corrections. You can get a small tube to paint match, you know, fix some imperfections, whatnot. I'll leave that link in the description as well, but I figured if I'm going to spend... 30 bucks I might as well just you know get the paint and you know kill two birds with one stone because I have some couple in uh, excuse me imperfections in the car that we can take care of so what we did we got the paint we went to Lowe's we looked on Home Depot's website we looked on Lowe's website we went to Lowe's we found some plugs it's kind of crazy you know plugs are not even a dollar <laughs> so again yeah, it was definitely not really worth it to spend $30 for a paint match plug when you can go find a little rivet or a little plug at Lowe's I was content with that so that's what we did I'll uh, obviously show you guys some pictures couple little whatever just to show you guys what I did let's start painting <laughs> 